Hello everyone, this is the day 7 of the flow designer training. In this day, we will talk about that how we can call a subflow from a UI action or from any of this background script. So normally, uh, we created a subflow in our previous sessions and that subflow is getting called from the flow. So not only call subflow from the flow, we can also call the subflow via some scripting uh, in that UI action or any of these our background script or that like any of these our client script or server side script. So in today's session, we will talk about that, how we can call a subflow from the script. So let's go back to the service now instance and see how it works. So this is our service now demo instance. And if I go back to the problem module, so I'm opening any existing problem. And if I open this existing problem, so if I right click on the header, you can see that that create normal change, create standard emergency. These are the contextual menu which has been created and this UI action have some script. So let me open this UI action. So if I go back to this UI action module and if I uh, type the table name equal to problem and here if I type the name equal to create and search. So you can see create normal change, create uh, change request these are the button are available and for example if i open any of this ui action and if i scroll down that you can see that there are a lot of scope uh, code is mentioned here and this code is normally we are calling a script include we are setting some value these are the things we are doing here right so instead of doing all this code all this set we can directly uh, you know use or directly we can call our uh, subflow that we have created earlier and then we can uh, do with the less code or we can call a subflow from our UI action. Let me show you that. So if I go back to the flow designer module, open this flow designer module. So this is the flow designer module and if I click the subflow and uh, you can see this change request, create change request subflow we have created. And this subflow is callable subflow. It means that we have to be called some from somewhere else. So this subflow can be called from a uh, flow or else you can call directly this subflow from any of this script like UI action, client script, wherever we need it. How do we call this subflow from the script? If you click this double uh, triple uh, dots, here you have a options call, uh, you will be uh, see that create code snippet. So if you click this create code snippet, you will be able to see that what code you have to use or what code you have to write that is mentioned here. So you can see that we have a two option called server and client side. So you can use in client side and you can use in server side. There are some uh, saying that that subflow is not currently configured to the client callable, um, but you can do that. Okay, so this is uh, the server side script and this is the client side script. We can just scroll down or we can copy that whole code or there is a button called, uh, you know, copy clipboard options is there. You can click that. Now, if you see this or if you observe this in a uh, deeply, you can see that there is an input variable and in these inputs, we are passing three things. First is the short description, description and assignment groups. And then um, after that, it is going to be called this our subflow with the subflow name, backend name. And then as the output, we'll get a change request number. So that's it. So we'll click this and then our code is copied. What I'll do, I'll go back and then go to the UI action. And I'm going to create a, my own UI action. So let's say that I'm going to create a new UI action. And then in this table, um, I'm going to uh, put the table name equal to problem. And here I can put the name called create change request. So this is my uh, UI action name and this is my reform button. I'm saying that. And if I scroll down here, I can paste whole code here. I can paste this whole code. If, in, if I want to remove this function also, I can do that. Now on, the, on this UI action, I need to be passed three value or you can say that short description, description and assignment groups, right? And then that's it, right? So what I'll do, I will put this short description. How do we get the short description? Short description is my problem uh, field short description that I want to pass. So I'll go back in this 
here I will put the current dot short description. So this way I can pass this short description here. Similar way I can put that current dot description. Right. So I can do uh, this way. So I'll put this current dot description here. And then I can pass this current dot assignment group. So let's say that I'll put that current dot assignment group. So we have a field called assignment group. We can pass that. So what will be happen? Uh, the moment you are going to call this uh, UI action, this UI action is going to be passed this short description, description and assignment group and it is going to be called our subflow. And the moment you call the subflow, subflow will run and will return some some value as a outputs and then uh, you know if we want to set or store this we know that this is going to be written the outputs and if we want to store that output in any of these fields let's say that uh, here or any of these places we can put that for example under this close node i am going to put this output so i'll go and then paste that call current dot close node equal to change request so this will return me the change csid right and then i'll do the current dot update although it needs some code but you can see this is our standard procedure and in this standard procedure we don't need uh, you know any kind of i'll just remove this function block let's see and let's do format so if you see that I'm getting an error, so the error is that we don't have, a, uh, we, we actually copy try block, but we have not, I think, copy the catch block. So I'll copy this catch block also and paste there. Okay. Let's do format again. So before we are going to save this one, if you see, or if you notice that you can see uh, that current dot assignment group and slash, it have a client record. It means that we need to be passed or we need to query to that, uh, CC user group table and then return or pass this GR object. For the moment, I'll just uh, disable that and save that. So it means that I'm not going to be pass assignment group right now. Now go back to this problem module and then if I click this create change request, what should it done? It should uh, trigger our flow and it should, uh, you know, run this flow and create a uh, in. Uh, change and it should put this change number as you can see it's written the change csid and stored into the close node and if i go back to the flow designer and click this execution you can see it's executed our subflow and that subflow created a change you can see this is a change and if i open that this is the change that has been created with this uh, flow testing which is nothing but uh, the problem short description. This way you can call your uh, subflow from any of these UI action or any of this background script. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.